Hey there, everybody. James Hilliard here. Recently, I had a chance to host an Ask the Experts conversation. We were talking about the complexity in the data center, but more importantly, we focused on how can we simplify that complexity. Check it out. Yeah, I think there's probably three things. Um, the first being cost. You know, think about what your cost is today and potentially what your budget will be in the future. Um, I also think it's really important to think about the user experience and what are your, you know, SLAs that you really want to meet for your, for your users. And then the third is security. Like, how are you going to do all of that in a secure environment? Jeez. Especially depending on what your industry is. She's smiling over there because security is always one of the top things, right? So that's got to be your top, you know, you got to focus on that. What else? Yeah, absolutely. I think the approach is taking a crawl, walk, run approach, right? Um, because one, depending on where in the journey you are, it's going to take time. And the reality is you want to rely on, you want to find partners that are familiar with this space, right? Folks who have done it before, who can help provide those expertise that's gone through the trial and error, if you will. Um, because if you do it on your own, you know, your, your speed to market is going to be a lot longer than if you work with a great partner or a great um, OEM partner like you know, Lenovo or Intel, right? So uh, my suggestion is don't go at it alone. You know, make sure, give yourself plenty of time to be successful with it. On the strategy of crawl, walk, run, there are some IT folks that are getting the pressure to just run. Any advice on how they might be able to slow that down when talking back up the chain of command to their executives? Like, but we, I know you want to run. I know we need to get there, but we have to stop. I slow. think, yeah, so this goes back to what Gretchen was talking about, the importance of a strategy. You need to get your leadership buy-in. Um, you have to get their support because if they don't understand what it's going to take to get there and what the vision is, you're, all, you're constantly going to be put in a reactive position. And... Really, if you can get leadership to buy in, you can get the right stakeholders to support you, then they're going to help you slow the train down, right, and give you the best chance to succeed. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. You know, one of the things I like there that I think we can communicate to leadership by having good processes and strategies to explain why we need this. If you don't have a good process for bringing your hardware on board, setting it up so you're getting the data from it, having consistent um, methods for applying across those systems, you're, you're going to just lead into a nightmare and trouble of management in the future. And so bringing together not only um, process, but then using that to keep your hardware running, your systems running the way you want to, and being able to explain the importance of managing and using that hardware. Efficiency plays a big part of this, yes. right? We're really talking about efficiency. Yeah. Because if you're not efficient, and especially to the stakeholders, to the leaders, you know, if you're not efficient, you're wasting money. Absolutely. And that's something that I think always lands with, you know, leaders, right? For, they understand, hey, if we rush this, we're going to end up spending a lot more resources and money to get this off the ground. If you would like to learn more and see the entire Ask the Experts conversation, please visit connection.com forward slash data center experts.